Welcome back to Brutally Made. Happy Friday. Happy Friday before the uh, solar eclipse. We are in the path of totality here in Canton, Ohio, and there is a lot of buzz going around. So um, big, big event and uh, a lot going on for me personally with uh, community events and art installations and exhibits, classes. I am thrilled. I am just over the moon excited about all the stuff I get to create. And I hope you're following along on social media. If you like that kind of thing, love to have you uh, get inspired by some of the stuff that I'm doing. Maybe you can do that in your area too. So that's mainly what this episode is about. It's just a little uh, connection, encouragement, um, and how it encourages me to hear Somebody wants to know how I do something and I, you know, am asked to share it, having the ability to share that in a classroom setting, be it virtual or in person is just so rewarding. And I love sharing and helping people do things to make their dreams come true. And I happily um, have been doing that. I Shared, you know, my paint by numbers with some people in some of my paint community, um, just, you know, helpful hints on how I create them. I remember starting them by hand when I did one for a festival last year, and they've just, you know, kind of evolved. And now I'm doing kits. And I never thought there would be people wanting to buy my kits and I'm getting requests. And I'm just like, what? Okay, I could do that. Thank you for being excited about them. I, I'm just, I just had no idea. Just sharing that idea to help really ignite it in somebody else. And then people were like, but I want what your art looks like. And I want to see your kit. And I was just like, you know, buy it once to just get an idea of how I do it. That's great. I don't know. It was just so sweet to hear people ask me to, to share that. So I uh, will be putting those on my website. Um, as soon as I get things finalized and built, I will be selling them locally for local landmarks um, here in Stark County. So I'm very excited about those. And they will be augmented reality too. So once you are done with your paint, you should be able to watch it come to life. And there's just like this whole movement around that here using traditional medium and just giving it another twist to get you immersed into it and get maybe youth more involved. Um, I, I I shared it to a popular art magazine, the idea of um, doing an augmented reality cover for her issue. And she wrote back, she's like, I don't, I don't support that. And I'm like, but I'm not. AI. This is not generated by a computer. I'm drawing these. These this, and I'm, and she's like, no. I mean, she said she understood. I think she did, but she doesn't support any kind of tech. And you know, totally fine. Still love her publication and uh, still love following along. But I I feel like it's missing an element that could give somebody a new idea to get their work seen by new people, a new audience. And I, you know, maybe there'll be another outlet. Maybe there'll be another magazine or publication that would be interested in having a custom piece, um, you know, use that technology. I've done it for sculptures. I've done it for food. I've done it for clothing, um, posters, um, maps, uh, my canvases, my murals. There's jewelry. I mean, there's just been endless amounts of ways that I've been able to incorporate it. And it's just been so much fun. So I love that I will have the ability to share how I do that with our community starting in April at the Canton Museum of Art. I think I've mentioned this before that I get to teach Thursday evenings. We will have a six week class. So you just need to have Procreate and your iPad and a cell phone. Or you can just use your iPad too. You don't have to have a cell phone because your iPad will be able to download the Art of Vive app. And I will be teaching basic Procreate and basic animation. We're going to do frame by frame animation. And then we're also going to do traditional art. So you'll be painting 
a canvas. Um, leading up to that, there's little assignments every week to just get you used to some of the tools that you will have um, at your fingertips with Procreate. And um, yeah, just trying to show different ways to use both. So you can still work in your traditional mediums, but look at new ways to um, incorporate technology and do more with it. You know, I want people to feel like they can um, create products if they want with their items, um, use it for gifts. And there's just a whole, I think, stream of financial success with your art that a lot of artists don't realize when they're going through traditional school. So I think that there's a big gap between fine art and graphic design. And here I'm learning these things, applying them to a business sensibility of I'm going to work in a marketing department, or I'm going to work for a graphic design firm. And this is what if this is used for advertising, advertising, advertising. And I'm wanting to expand your mind. Because <laughs> I do that. That's That's like my nine to five. I get that. You know, I don't want to keep everybody on that one little tiny path. There's so much more to using art for education and connection and getting that human response and doing things to help others. So that's what's important to me. And I I get to share that whenever I get to do events, like my paint by number stuff. I get to do that when I do live painting. So I'm very excited that that's going to happen every month starting in um, well April. I will be at the Home and Garden Show with the 720 Market. We will be uh, making giant paper flowers at Camp Creative. So watch for that and please come by and sign up so you can take home a giant paper flower on a stick that you're to walk around with. Um, they're going to be a lot of fun and I'll have some on display. And then, um, yeah, that that's going to be the beginning of my journey with 720 every month for the rest of the year. We have camps. We have um, doing live painting, um, all kinds of face painting. Um, so I'm very excited to be part of those events with um, the 720 Market group. Oh my gosh. So, so excited to have that outlet all set up. Just this year is just one of the most exciting years for me for art in a very, very, very long time. And I am just thrilled that it's finally like coming to light. It's been a long journey. This is not overnight. It has been a very long journey and um, it just keeps getting better. I just love the response that people have with my work. And I love being able to create things that make people visualize their dreams again. And I'm happy to teach how I do that. And I, there's nothing that I, you know, can say enough of about learning something new. You just never stop. I will never stop learning something new. I love it. And um, just wanted to encourage you to participate as much as possible where you're at in the journey that you're on and sharing. Sharing is caring. I like that monster thing. Scaring is caring. <laughs> that was their little take on it. And um, oh my gosh, I started sketching and forgot to even like mention that I'm drawing mailbox. <laughs> From Ela Lovey's prompt. Oh my goodness, I just was like so excited to sit down and 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 talk to you. Um, I wish that mail never ends. It's always nice to get that handwritten correspondence, a card. I love sending cards. Um, it just seems like it's one of the very few forms of communication that is still old school, I guess. And it's just so lovely. And yeah, we all get junk mail and stuff like that. But I can remember when it was a big deal to get your, um, your name on letterhead and get personalized stationery. And I always grew up wanting a desk with one of those paper blotters on it and that you had like a diary on it. I would like circle those in the Sears catalog, the French provincial little girls canopy bedroom sets with the desk and the drawers. I dreamed of having one of those so much. I wanted one so I could like have all of my papers and stationery and pens. And oh, I just always wanted that. I loved it. It was so pretty. 
And I love having your space. I always tried to make sure my girls all had desks. So they had their space to put their stuff. It was very important to me. They probably look back and the things that I thought were just so like necessary. They were like, I don't care. But there were things I never got. And I always wanted and, you know, I wanted to make sure that they, you know, when they wanted something, I did my best to to provide that so they could get that experience and decide, yeah, I, I really wanted that or no, this wasn't as big of a deal as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so don't we all do that, as, especially as parents or friends? You know, you see somebody that needs something or wants something and you want them to have it. You want them to have that experience. I'm very much, you know, that type of person. <laughs> But just wanted to share a little bit, doodle a little bit, and um, just say hi and say thank you to everyone who has supported me and has been attending the events. I had a great helper this week at the event I did for Compass Sexual Assault Awareness, and the Goodwill uh, groups got together. Uh, it was purse for uh, with a purpose, and Jay from Compass helped me with all the people painting and it was phenomenal. We would have four people at the canvas at one time, multiple times throughout the night. And that's the most I've had at an event, like just one and people waiting in line. And she was just such a huge help making sure palettes were cleaned and brushes were cleaned and people had the right color and the right number. And we were filling things in, trying to get things done. And we had three hours and we, it was nonstop. It was, it was great. We almost got finished, but they got to take the canvas back and it'll be a little project for them to finish up. And um, yeah, it was just wonderful. So Jay, if you're listening, I love that we got to connect and I got to meet you and work with you that night. And you were just, oh, heaven sent lady, beautiful girl, just appreciate your talent, your passion, your time with me. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So everyone have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday. Doodle your mailboxes. You're so cute. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.